Hey everybody, Chris Bryant here. Welcome to today's CCNP Switch and T-Shoot Quiz Lab. You can tell I'm feeling good about life when I just decide to start making up my own words. But I made that one up for a reason. We've got a practice exam question here today and some serious lab work. Take a couple of minutes here. I'm going to invite our CCNA and CSENT Bulldogs to sit in on this one as well because it's about a common subject, the VLAN trunking protocol. I'm going to give you the choices here on the board in just a moment for a practice exam question and then we're going to test it out on live Cisco switches. So today's question, as I show you the choices, which of these can you not do to a VLAN on a VTP client? And even if you think you know the answer right away, oh, VTP is easy, especially you CCNP student, you Bulldogs, because you know, you think you got all these complex topics with the switches and like VTP, come on, is that all you got? There's a good little detail in here I want you to see. There's a common misconception we want to clear up. The choices are create a new VLAN, delete an existing VLAN, add hosts to an existing VLAN, rename an existing VLAN, or E, you can't do any of these because it's a client and you can't do anything on a client. Or can you? We're going to see here in just a moment, actually literally just a moment, because I'm going to bring up a pot of live equipment right now. And let's take a look and see what small pre-configuration I've got for you today. And I just double checked here, we are in the VTP domain CCNP, and we are running in client mode. And here I've just run show VLAN brief, one of the best commands just to get the lay of the land. And you can see that we've got all of our ports Fast 12 is hanging over the side there a little bit, but you can see the other 11. It's 12 switch port, and 12 port switch that is. And we're, we've also got an accounting VLAN, VLAN number 10, but it is not holding any ports right now. Nobody's a member of that. We're going to try to change that on this client. Now let's go back to the board for just a moment. And the first choice was create a new one. Can we create a new VLAN? on a VTP client and what happens when we try and we can't you know are we gonna be told anything well let's just dive right in and try to do just that let's try creating VLAN 20 in VLAN configuration mode and we're told VTP VLAN configuration not allowed when the device is in client mode that's about as self-explanatory as this sucker is going to get. That's about as self-explanatory as anything in IT is going to get. So we do we have a workaround, you think? You know, you always want to try to sneak around, you know, when you're told you can't do something. It's like, yeah, I'll show you. I'll do it anyway. Let's try letting the switch do the work. Let's try putting one of these ports into VLAN 20 without creating it. Because that's the way most of us create our VLANs anyway. So actually, we could just stick right there and we'll try it on... Uh, three. First I'll make sure it's an access port. I'm pretty sure it is, but access VLAN 20. And we didn't get a message. No, you know, nothing there at all. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. Let's take a look then at show VLAN brief again. And you'll notice that port three isn't anywhere. <laughs> That's pretty interesting, isn't it? Uh, it's not in any VLAN at all now. So I've seen this happen on some switches and not on others. This isn't going to be something that pops up on your exam, but I want you to see it as a real world example. And also to note that there really isn't a workaround because as far as our first choice went here, create a new VLAN, you definitely cannot do that on a VTP client. So let's head back up here and rescue port 03. And let's see if that does it. Sure hope so, and there it's right back. So just a little oddity I wanted to show you there, uh, but there is no workaround for that. You can't create a new VLAN on a VTP client. So that was our first one. How about deleting an existing one? Well, we know under no circumstances can we delete VLAN 1. So it's a good thing I just happen to have that VLAN 10 sitting there. And let's try getting rid of it. How about just no VLAN 10? Well, still we get that same message. The VLAN configuration not allowed when devices in client mode. 
And it's not like we could sneak into, you know, you can't go into a VLAN config mode and self-destruct it anyway. But with no VLAN 10, uh, you can see immediately we're not allowed to do that either. So, so far, create a new one. We couldn't do that. Delete an existing one. We couldn't do that. So I want to show you something real quick. As you notice, I don't put ads at the beginning of my videos, but I do want to mention a couple things here to you. It's a little more related than, you know, another ad for Amazon or Febreze or whatever they're showing you today. Uh, please check out my CCNP 2014 All-in-One Video Boot Camp. All the videos you need are 50 hours of my world-class instruction on switch, route, and T-shoot, and it's less than $100. Bucks. It's $99, so I'm picking a little nit there. It's $99. Bucks. And we are also in April 2014 going to contribute $10 from every single student that signs up in that month. And it's going to go toward our latest fund drive for the Central Virginia Food Bank. And we'll be presenting that check here in a couple of months on our brand new website. Ta-da! Thank God. Uh, actually, the website's launching in April 2014. And when we make that check presentation, it will be right here for everyone to see. The CCMP Switch course is also available by itself for $44. We're going to be on some new hosting companies soon as well. We're not leaving Udemy at all. Uh, they've been good, but we're always looking for different hosts. So head out to Udemy and check that out. And let's get back to this practice exam. Add host to an existing one. So we couldn't add a host to one that didn't exist a second ago with VLAN 20. Would I now then be able to put port 3 into VLAN 10? which already existed before I made this a client. Let's find out. Nice job. I'm using a slightly different setup here, so I'm dogging some letters. Here we go. Well, we didn't get a warning message again, so we better run show VLAN brief again. And notice that port 03 is in VLAN 10. This is another little detail slash gotcha that I wanted to show you because a lot of people think you can't do that. And the reason I think people think that is what is our classic rule of VTP clients can't do three things, create, delete, modify. And that's always been the, the little mantra of VTP when I was studying for the NA 15 years ago. I remember create, delete, can't create, delete, modify. Well, don't confuse modify with add clients to. By modify, frankly, we really mean renaming. Because uh, as you're going to see in a moment, we're not going to be able to do that either. I uh, hate to spoil the surprise, but there it is. But you can see that we can add clients to a VLAN that this VTP client is knowledgeable about. We'd really have to be able to, or otherwise making it a VTP client would almost cripple it, almost make it useless. So when we go back to our choices here, uh, for add host to an existing one, yes, you can do that on a VTP client. Now, sorry I blew the suspense here with rename an existing one, but let's check it out. Stick around here, because how are we going to rename it? How did we name VLAN 10 accounting? That's a good skill to have for the exam. Well, all we did, again, was go into VLAN configuration mode and just put name uh, and then accounting. And as we saw on a client, you can't do that. Uh, that's where the problem comes in. So with these particular choices, uh, create, delete, add host to an existing one, rename an existing one, the only one that we actually could do was C. And now we've seen that, no pun intended, on the live equipment. Let's do a little bonus work here. Let's take another minute or two because I want to show you that. Let's um, go ahead and make this a server. Then you notice when I do VLAN 10 now, it immediately drops me into VLAN configuration mode. You're not going to spend a ton of time in here, but one good thing to know in here is name. And then if I wanted to rename it now and just call it uh, accounting 2. Oh, not going to be able to put that space. What am I trying? Let's say accounting 2. And you can see right there it changed the name. So you do need to be able to drop into VT, uh, excuse me, VLAN config mode to change the name. And as long as we're a client, we can't do that. Thanks for watching today's CCNP and CCNA video bootcamp. I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for making the Bryant Advantage part of your success story.